memory and speed, speed and memory. Children need both memory and speed to become good readers. As children first learn to read, they must remember what the symbols look like, what they mean, and how they sound. They must also put them together to form words. Remembering the names and sounds of the letters of D, I, and G is not enough for reading the word dig. Not only do children have to remember these symbols, but they have to put these symbols together, blending the sounds or phonemes into a whole word. In every language, children must remember symbols and put them together to read words and later text. Memory is also important for word reading at the level of the whole word. For example, to read the words no, is, or the, you cannot rely only on letter sounds in English. All three of those words are exception words. These are also known as sight words. You cannot sound them out using phonics. You simply have to memorize each word. There are a lot of these words even in very simple word reading. Memory is also important because children need to match the words they read with the concepts that they know. When you read the word dig, you might remember things about it. You might remember that it often has something to do with breaking or scooping up ground or soil. Also, you usually use it as a verb, not a noun. The more symbols and words you can remember, the faster you can read. This makes you a more efficient reader. Memory and speed go together in reading. When we can remember more, we can read faster. Remember the first time you read a word by putting the sounds together? Maybe you read cat like this. K at. And then you said it again and again until you could say the word as a whole. This is how we learn to read. We put symbols together to form words. The more of these symbols we know, the faster we are. In this case, better memory for symbols helps us to read faster. On the other hand, the faster we are, the more we can remember, too. When a child is sounding out cat as k at, she might take too long on each part. If she takes a really long time, she might forget what she started with. She might remember the at part, but forget that the beginning sound was k. Here is another example. If a child reads every word very slowly, he might forget what the sentence is about by the end of the sentence. When we are too slow, the words at the beginning are forgotten. As children learn to read, both memory and speed should be taught. Try to think of fun games to test children's word memories and speed of recognition. Practice making things faster. Practice makes perfect. But what kind of practice makes reading faster? Any repeated exercise can be helpful. This is true if the child enjoys trying to race herself. Asking children to compete with one another to read is not a good idea. Children often get frustrated and unhappy since there is a winner and a loser. But asking children to compete against themselves is a good idea. To begin, the child or an adult can time himself or herself reading. She could read a list of random letters. She could read a list of random letter sounds. She could read a few random words. She could read a connected sentence. She could even read a whole paragraph or more. This part is up to the teacher. No matter what she reads, the principle is the same. The child reads it once and records her time on a watch or a phone. Then the child reads the same thing again. 
Her goal is to beat her first time. Almost every child likes to do this, or at least tries hard to do this. We all want to improve, to get faster. This activity can be done with any level of reading, including just the symbols or letters used to read in your script. Getting faster at reading is a goal for all readers. This exercise is useful and fun. We have seen many children in Hong Kong race themselves in reading. Children who struggle to read fluently can improve their speed by reading familiar text repeatedly. It is especially helpful when children have an adult to model what fluent reading sounds like. It is also helpful when children are told what mistakes they have made in oral reading so that they can read with fewer mistakes next time. Here are the references used for this text. <laughs>